severely indeed. Frank Williams has said this is just a smokescreen set up by Ferrari to uh, take the heat away from their boy Schumacher, who really is in the dock, because there doesn't seem much doubt that he deliberately forced Villeneuve off the track in the last race. What will they throw us in? It's very difficult to know what quite they can do. If they ban him from the early races next year, which I think is the most likely outcome, of course, the people who promote those early races, the first round in Australia, for example, they're going to be dismayed that they have to put on a race without the man who's thought to be the best driver in the world. But how do you fine a man? How much do you fine a man who earns about 25 or 30 million pounds a year? It's going to have to be a big fine to hurt. One theory is that they might actually give him a negative points total to start the race, to start the season with next year, so that he'll start with minus 10 or minus 20 points and still have to win the championship with a handicap. That's one thought, and that really would hurt him. That would be better than probation, because uh, a cynic might say that he doesn't need to be on probation for anything but the last race, because that's when he does it. Well, it has happened before, hasn't it? And I think a lot of people in motor racing uh, really believe that it is a very, very um, serious matter if the most uh, publicly watched race in the world has an incident like this. Think of all the young drivers who have Schumacher as their hero and the World Championship as their goal. If the FIA don't come down hard on him today, they'll think that that's OK. That's the way you win World Championship titles. Finally, and bearing in mind that he supplies your pass for every race next season, uh, Bernie Eccleston will have his donation of up to one and a half million pounds returned by the Labour Party uh, following news that they've reversed their policy on banning tobacco advertising. Now, it's a complicated question. Can't be an easy answer. How will he feel about that? Well, the one and a half million pounds, I gather, has been denied by, uh, by the Labour government. Uh, I certainly can't comment on Mr Eccleston's political sympathies. I think it would be a great shame if the row about how much Bernie Eccleston did or didn't give to the Labour Party is allowed to taint what seems to me to be a rational and sensible decision about uh, tobacco um, advertising in motor racing, which would have damaged what is a very important industry in Britain, the motor racing industry. That's your pass guaranteed. And uh, when you next see him, could you ask one for me? I'll see what I can do, Matt. <laughs> Simon, thanks very much. And that's about all from the news hour for this morning. Simon's here with the weather after the break. Still to come on GMTV this morning. Cracker star.